In this video will be a full coverage about Volcorp. I spent quite a long time putting this together. Volcorp is a topic that has been widely covered by bigger YouTubers like some ordinary gamers, Scare Theater and Nexpo. I think the majority of my viewers should also be familiar with this topic. Some truly horrific videos are associated with Volcorp. That's why Nexpo even calls it the darkest intent mystery. In this video, I will talk about what the origins of the Dreamer Heaven, Fatherhood and Each Day I Grow Some More videos truly are. I will talk about who made these videos and will fully solve the entire mystery surrounding Worldcorp. I advise you to watch this video from the beginning to the very end to fully understand why the mysteries surrounding Worldcorp were able to be solved. Before I start this off, I want to thank Lieutenant Snowy Russian on Discord. He provided a lot of information. Without him, I would have never started working on this video in the first place. Please subscribe to his YouTube channel if you are interested in more World Cup related content. His YouTube channel will be linked down below. I also want to thank Jorge for joining me on this. On a different note, I also uploaded a Patreon exclusive video not so long ago. It's about the darkest rabbit hole I've ever seen. More patron exclusive videos will follow very soon. If you are interested, you'll get pretty much everything I offer on there for just $2. Also, like I mentioned, this video here really took forever to make, so if you end up enjoying it, please make sure to sub, like, comment, and all of that good stuff. With that being said, let's finally debunk Worldcorp and the videos affiliated with them once for all. If you forgot what Volcorp even is or you are unfamiliar with the topic, here's a quick introduction by Jorge. In 2015, a YouTube channel named Worldcorp Enterprises would upload numerous videos depicting gross imagery and music. They were uploading for two years and attracting people from 4chan. In 2016, someone made a follow-up thread on Worldcorp, detailing that Worldcorp has been uploading content for over a year now without receiving much attention. He further details that they are sharing their content on every major social media site. However, the edgy videos and music quickly made everyone assume that this was just another ARG. This impression quickly changed when people took a closer look at the videos. Two videos were of importance, World Corp Fatherhood Part 2 and Each Day I Grow Some More. In both of these videos, a child is begging a man to stop screaming at him. It's extremely disturbing, and the origins of these videos remained inconclusive at the time. Additionally, most assume that these two videos were the only controversial ones. This definitely is far from the truth. There were actually more videos in the exact same fashion. The following videos are of interest. Fatherhood Part 1, Each Day I Grow Some More, FH underscore Recovered, or also known as Fatherhood Part 2, Showtime, Alphonse, Gustavo, Giuseppe, Malignant, and Wipe. Most of these videos are still available today, some even on YouTube. The Each Day I Grow Some More video was also part of one of Silva Gunner's videos. Silva Gunner is a YouTube channel who runs ARGs. At the time, he was running an ARG and included the Each Day I Grow Some More video from World Corp in one of his videos. After he received comments from concerned viewers about the clip, Silva Gunner claims that there is nothing to worry about, since the video shown was fake. Through Silva Gunner, these videos gained a lot of attention. Eventually, an anon shared on 4chan that he somewhat knew the source of the screaming in both videos, and that the people behind World Corp are also aware of it. So to clarify, World Corp is saying that these videos are real, whereas Silva Gunner denies it. To be fair, Silva Gunner seems to have taken the clip to promote his own ARG. He wasn't aware of the origin of the video. All of this has been covered by Nexpo before. Some ordinary gamers also looked into the topic and found the supposed origins of fatherhood and each day on 4chan. To summarize this post, he states that the videos from World Corp are short excerpts of a longer video called Dreamer Heaven, which has a length of 32 minutes and 9 seconds. 
Allegedly, two men and a kidnapped kid were in the video. At around three minutes, the video takes an extremely disturbing turn and is allegedly something very malicious. All of this is not new information. This has been mostly covered by other channels here on YouTube. I want to emphasize that there is a lot more information circulating on the web. This topic has been heavily investigated for a few years, and I have a very good idea of what the origins of Dreamer Heaven, Each Jack Grows Some More, and Fatherhood are. I also know that Wall Corp created these videos themselves. Further, I know which members of Wall Corp created these videos. Let's solve this entire mystery. The interesting part about Wall Corp isn't the ARG aspect of it. Actually, Wall Corp was never intended to be an ARG, but more to that in a moment. The interesting part about this topic are the videos Each Day Grow Some More, which we'll refer to as Each Day Moving Forward, Fatherhood Part 2, and Dreamer Heaven. These videos are of interest because these videos were widely shared on different social media sites and covered by bigger YouTube channels. All of the other videos that also are of interest were only available on the World Corp website. That's why they weren't really in the conversation. There are additional videos that depict the same disturbing content that can be seen in the other videos. In the following, I want to talk about these videos. Let's start off with the videos in question. Each day seems to have been recorded in a bathroom. There's a light source, maybe a flashlight. The guy screams the Caillou theme song. The child can be heard screaming. The screams are truly horrifying. The guy then apparently says, you have a nice body, or something similar. I know this is raising huge red flags and it's easy to jump to conclusions by just listening to this, but let's just keep this in mind for now. Fatherhood Part 2, or also known as FH Recovered, and Fatherhood Part 1 are very similar. They depict a minor being yelled at by a guy. It's hard to understand what he's saying here, but the guy says something along the lines of, that will teach ya. Let's talk about the remaining videos that are also very similar to these three. Alphonse, Gustave and Guiseppe are all three second videos. They depict a child with a bag over their head being dragged. Showtime depicts two guys yelling at the minor. They also have a strobe light in the video. Malignant is pretty much one of the most graphic videos. It depicts probably the child in feces in a shower. The location in this video seems to be the same one that was used in all of the other videos. Now we come to the most unorthodox video. It's called YP. This is drastically different from every other video I mentioned so far. While the videos I talked about contained mostly verbal abuse, this one is definitely physical. It depicts a man in a suit beating what looks like an underage person with a belt. There's a pretty detailed description of YP made by one user on Discord. I won't read it out, but this seems very accurate and lines up with the information I have seen from others. This isn't comparable to a random description from a random 4chan user. YP was a video that a few people have seen. Here on Reddit for instance, someone describes the video in the same fashion, even though it is less detailed. In one of the aircraft directories on the World Corp website, we can see proof of YP existing. And there's a 3GP, PNG, and an MP4 file of YP. Like I mentioned prior, this seems to be the only video that was taken from somewhere else. So it wasn't an original video created by Wolcorp. YP is now a lost media. I received a screenshot from the video, but that's about it. Here's a huge list with all of Wolcorp's videos. I won't cover most of these in this video, because they aren't relevant for the investigation. Some of these are also lost media now. I don't want to start with the analysis and origins of the aforementioned videos just yet. We lack context that will be more than necessary to understand why I'm convinced that almost none of these videos are inherently malicious in nature. Well, except of YP. Let's start off by talking about whether Dreamer Heaven is a real video or not. To make it short, Dreamer Heaven is a real video. 
but it is not what you think it is. Dreamer Heaven and Showtime are the same video. Showtime was created by Wolcorp, taken by Spanish people on Facebook and renamed to Dreamer Heaven Levels 1 Rain's Demise of a Reptile. They then uploaded this video to YouTube. They thought that this video would be proof of reptiles and humanoids. No archives of these Facebook posts exist, since they probably have been blacklisted, but we can find screenshots of uploads from Spanish people on YouTube, reposting the Showtime video under the Dreamer Heaven name. What some ordinary gamers featured in this video is definitely incorrect. The Anon was trolling. We probably even know who the Anon was, and he himself confirmed that he was just bullshitting. Additionally, from a now deleted segment of Scare Theater's video, we can see an email that Scare Theater received from a viewer. In this email, the viewer describes how he found a video from the deep web on Facebook. Scare Theater responded, asking for the Facebook group where this video was shared. As we can see in this email, it is the Dreamer Heaven video. After Scare Theater's coverage of this topic, some ordinary gamers also decided to cover it. Muda advises him to trim out the segment where he talks about Dreamer Heaven. To again summarize Muda's video, he managed to find a random 4chan post from someone claiming that the Dreamer Heaven video is a short excerpt of a longer video which allegedly is CP. I think it's somewhat careless to base your entire video on a random 4chan post without any evidence, but I don't blame anyone here. The videos from Wall Corp seem so real that it was easy to push this narrative. The Scare Theater decided to trim out the Dreamer Heaven section of his video and edit a pinned comment, which made the topic even more interesting and believable than it already is. He claims that Muda uncovered the origins of the Dreamer Heaven video. With the information I just gave you, we know that this is incorrect. This is also somewhat known amongst most of the investigators already. As you can see on the Wall Corp subreddit, we even have a redditor posting the Dreamer Heaven video, which they also accurately call showtime.mp4. There's also one more piece of evidence that debunks Dreamer Heaven and the 4chan post. We'll talk about this shortly. More importantly, who are the people behind Wall Corp? After the Dreamer Heaven video started circulating around the web, Wallcorp decided to delete their website and their own Discord server. They also removed most of their songs on their SoundCloud. After the Wallcorp website became inactive, a new rap group appeared out of nowhere. It was a group of people called Autistic Boys Money Clan, or short ABMC. This group consisted of the following members: Money Goblin, Jet Neptune. Low Poly Priest and Skellaming. Some of these people created Wolcorp. How do I know this? Well, they themselves linked to their SoundCloud and YouTube channel on the official Wolcorp website. On a video from 2017 called Community Hour Episode 5, Dell and Back, we can see the following frame if we stop the video at 4 seconds. The text shows Wolcorp Enterprises. This was uploaded on the official ABMC YouTube channel. After the coverages of Nexpo, Muda and Scare Theater, someone made a threat on Muda's subreddit. And this user claims that someone in the comment sections was trying to convince others that the videos in question are fake. They then hopped onto a chat room to talk a bit more. And there, the guy shared a link to the creators of Wall Corp, and he also claims that each day and fatherhood are fake. The problem is, some of the things he claims in these screenshots are definitely wrong. Dreamer Heaven was never taken from the dark web. It was a video called Showtime and was just retitled. He also didn't provide any evidence as to why the Each Day and Fatherhood videos are fake and his explanation seems unbelievable. However, this was pretty much the first real mention of ABMC. People therefore compared the voices of a guy named Money Goblin from the song Soldier of Fortune with the song Wheeze by Wolcop Enterprises. The voices were nearly identical. There's even more evidence as to why ABMC is behind Wallcorp, but we'll get into this in a moment. It's no secret that ABMC, specifically a guy named Money Goblin and Jet Neptune, are the creators of Wallcorp. There's another group involved called Money Chat. The following lead doesn't play a huge role for this investigation, 
but for the sake of covering this topic in its entirety, we should talk about Money Chat. Money Chat is a group that existed prior to Wallcorp. Money Goblin was a part of Money Chat prior to Wallcorp. A guy named Chat, who seems to be the most active person from Money Chat, told others what their problem with Wallcorp is. Money Chat claims that Wallcorp is stealing their designs, videos, and art styles. Here's a video from Money Chat recording Money Goblin and Jet Neptune on the street. Jet Neptune also provides content for a guy named Sam Hyde from the YouTube channel Hyde Wars. Jet Neptune seems to work for Sam Hyde. This becomes clear when we look at his Instagram account. Here, he posted a picture with iDubs for a video on the Hyde Wars channel called The Truth About iDubs. So, Jet Neptune seems to have moved on from his time in Warcorp, whereas Money Goblin seems to have given up on his online presence altogether. So, let me tell you how I even stumbled upon all of this information. It started off by Snowy Russian posting a lot of screenshots on the Internet Mysteries Discord server and claiming that he has a lot of information on Wallcorp. He claims that none of the videos depicted CP. Instead, the videos were made by a 16-year-old guy who was an asshole to his brother. After I saw this, I couldn't really believe it. I texted him and then he shared a total of 37 screenshots. For the sake of keeping this video as concise as possible, I'll only refer to the most interesting parts. Basically, there's a guy named Skits. Skits was a friend of Money Goblin and Jet Neptune in real life. He wasn't a member himself, but he certainly knew that they were behind Wallcorp and ABMC. No idea what exactly happened, but Skits got into a conflict with them. Consequently, Skellamane and Money Goblin released a diss track on Skits, which is still available on SoundCloud. It's called Money Goblin and Scalamane, the death of Skits. So it's definitely confirmable that the Skits guy was affiliated with them in one way or another. So Skits hopped onto a Warcorp investigation server to expose Warcorp for what it actually is. Snowy Russian and his friend jumped into a group chat with Skits and he decided to give an interview. I'll read out the most important parts of this interview in the following. Skits says, Goblin, Jet, and a few friends created ABMC, a music project made to attract attention. Their first project dates back to 2014, but they became popular in 2017 due to some YouTubers. And Wallcorp is their alter ego. He proceeds to say that Money Goblin and Jet Neptune were around 15 to 17 years of age at that time. Later, one of the investigators asks why Money Goblin wanted to make it look like CP, whereas Skits responds with that Money Goblin wants attention and has anger issues. Skits also confirms here that the minor in the controversial videos is indeed the brother. In the next screenshot, he describes that Wallcorp was just built by two to three people. Skits also claims here that Money Goblin and Scalamane were threatening him by posting pics of his house and more. In the end, Skits asks how to delete his own account, and that's how the interview ended. And so basically, the Each Day, Fatherhood Part 1 and 2, Alphonse, Gustav and Guisep, Malignant and Showtime videos only included minors. Money Goblin and Jet Neptune, who were around 15 to 17 years old, were bullying Money Goblin's brother, who was around 10 years old. They were making it look worse on purpose by saying stuff like, you have a nice body, and so on. The whole purpose behind this entire project was to get attention at any cost. I have further proof that Skits is telling the truth. There's a video of fatherhood in color that was shared by a Redditor. In this video, we can clearly see a person which appears to be the boy who is in what looks like a shower. I guess they brought him into the shower, turned on the hot water, and just didn't let him out there. You can see through his movements that he's trying to dodge the water, but obviously can't. That's why the screams are so real. He was in agony due to the hot water. Besides him, you can't see anyone else. And so the screams are definitely caused through the hot water or something similar, not by a different person. You may think that the guys that can be hurt in these videos are adults, 
but that's not the case. Here for instance on the World Corp subreddit, a Reddit user shares that the audio in either Fatherhood or Each Day has been edited. The audio has been transposed or slowed down. This is why some people assume that adults are involved in these videos, even though this isn't the case. Something more striking is comparing the voices in these videos to ABMC. Specifically Money Goblin is of interest here. In a song called Bootleg 2A, we can hear Money Goblin rapping. The accent and voice match with the voice of Fatherhood Part 2. Some of the commenters also pointed this out. Also, the voice track in Fatherhood is one more clue for the age of Money Goblin, which we assume was 16 at the time of Fatherhood being recorded. Also, in the Each Day video, the kid in the beginning can be heard saying something along the lines of, I didn't say start. This is further proof of this entire thing being set up. I'm not saying that the screams of the kid are fake. I'm just stating that it was his own brother in the video. Additionally, here's also a comment from a World Cup member who debunks the World Cup videos and also says that he was the anon that made the 4chan comment regarding Dreamer Heaven. It was meant as a joke, quote, Where did you hear that from, 4chan? I wrote that reply. I was bullshitting. It's not a 32 minute video. It is from a site I was a part of called World Corp Enterprises. If it makes you feel better, the videos are fake. It's meant to scare you just like the site. The kid screaming in these videos is just the guy's little brother. The original name of the video is called Showtime. I can't believe it caught on like this. All of this lines up with my research as well, so you may have said the full truth here. Like I said earlier, the 4chan post doesn't even provide any evidence for the claim they make. Lastly, there is a Redditor that claims to have spoken with Money Goblin. Most of the things mentioned in this thread are true. He claims the following things. Fatherhood and Everyday Grow Some More were originals. Another part of this post is very important. It reads, He wouldn't allude to how fatherhood and each day were created. Either because it's a magician's secret, behavior he regrets, or simply not my business. But when I asked him if the child involved was safe, he half laughed at what must have been me sounding silly and said yes. To this day, I genuinely believe him because of how he reacted to that question. The thing that the Redditor says about Dreamer Heaven is incorrect. He says that Dreamer Heaven was curated and not originally created by Wolcorp. To be fair, a video named Dreamer Heaven didn't even really exist. It was always called Showtime, so maybe there was a misunderstanding. The next part is also of importance. It further explains what the intentions behind World Corp were. That it wasn't really intended to be an ARG. Quote, Among other notable parts of the conversation, Money Goblin was adamant that World Corp wasn't an ARG. Bringing this up seemed to make him cringe, which after I'd heard the story, became clear to me was the truth. It was not an ARG. It was a half-attempted shock site with no real future, no plan, no narrative and fully motivated by having a laugh. That seems to be the interpretation of the Reddit user, not an actual fact. The website was clearly made for shock value. The entire purpose of Warcorp was to get attention by any means necessary. One last thing in this thread is also pretty important. It's about as to why Money Goblin deleted the Warcorp website. The reason for Money Goblin to shut down the World Corp website, take down their own Discord server and multiple songs off their SoundCloud, is due to the police being sent to his home on numerous occasions. However, I couldn't find any real proof of this. The only thing I was able to find is this post. Here it states, Unfortunately, Dreamer Heaven was enough for police to become involved, and one day whilst Money Goblin was at school, Police arrived at front office and told him to basically knock it off. The Reddit user attached screenshots as proof of their conversation. One is of the Discord conversation and one is from Instagram. This makes a lot of sense and seems believable if you have looked at the World Cup rabbit hole yourself. While this entire post could be fake, most of the information shared here lines up with my research. Interestingly, while finishing up this video, I saw that Plague Math also covered Wall Corp in his newest Iceberg video at the time of me recording. In there, he pretty much confirms that most of the videos from Wall Corp are originals and fake. Here's a little clip.
just for a long time for many reasons, but the whole fascination never really hit for me when it was popular. Why? Because it felt fucking off. The allegation is that at least two videos posted to their website and even the YouTube at one point were made using cut child exploitation material, so of course it fell off, but that's not what I mean. I'm about to do something that I'd never thought I would, but I'm gonna point out some BS from like Mudahar, Nexpo, and Scare Theater, and it's nothing personal towards them, but I mean, knowing what you know when you make certain videos at the time, we all have a little bit of misinfo spread, I feel, in this kind of uh, commentary. We're here talking about World Corp, and, you know, all their videos, all of them, literally all of them are fake. Okay, there's no cut CSEM. And how do I know this? Simply put, correspondence between me and World Corp has revealed how they made their shit. And literally, it was the little brother of another group. And it was an edgy marketing stunt. It was something that they made a poor decision on and they're really trying to move away from. And they get really, really upset, apparently, when content creators like myself, at least with a large audience, can actually, you know, just spew out this misinformation based on other people's videos. And if you really even look at my roll court videos, I'll be perfectly honest from you with you. From my perspective, it's almost like I'm rinsing and repeating what other people have said. And it's really, we don't know. And it's spooky. And that's not fair, and it's true. These videos are fake as fuck. Wow, but what if? It's like, but they're not. They're not fucking real. They're not, okay? Just because Mudahar went to a paywalled front page to a website that confirmed some random anonymous 4chan post that literally, I'm not saying he put it there or something, but I'm saying that people go on 4chan and say dumb shit all the time. It doesn't make it true. The entirety of the X board is a bunch of basement dwellers typically role-playing about summoning succubi. So, I mean, are we really doing this? Basically, it was a bad publicity stunt that worked out really well at first, though, until it garnered the real bad attention for what it was. And the reason that World Corp is still releasing videos and releasing content and releasing, you know, albums and progressing, and these videos can still be found uncensored on YouTube is simply because they're not real. There's a couple things that look very real on YouTube. In fact, there's actually some real shit on YouTube, too, that's real bad. But it's because of that. It's just not real. He didn't really provide any evidence, but his conclusion is definitely correct. <laughs> In conclusion, World Corp was a project created with the sole purpose of gaining attention through shock value. The videos were completely blown out of proportion and sensationalized by bigger YouTubers like Muda, Scare Theater and Nexpo. And through this, most people speculated that the origins of each day, fatherhood and dreamer heaven were inherently malicious. This is certainly not the case with the information that investigators managed to provide. I don't blame any YouTubers who got this wrong, because I also was guilty of believing all of it, since the videos are definitely real creations, but the context is entirely different, which makes this rabbit hole incredibly boring. Before ending this off, I quickly want to talk about my Discord server. It is very inactive, and I have no idea nor the time to lead an active server. So this is my last attempt of reviving the Discord server. I am looking for mods and admins that know how to run an active server. If you are interested, please DM me on Discord, Instagram or Twitter. Also, if you haven't already, please join the Discord server. The link is down below. With that being said, I will end the video. Thanks to all of the patrons that have joined recently. Normally, I would read out every patron's name, but I think it would be too much to read out over 200 names. Still, I am truly grateful for your support and I will keep on providing exclusive content on there. Especially videos about subjects that I cannot discuss on YouTube. I think reading out the names from the Elite and Legend tier are still doable. So thanks a lot to the Elite tier patrons, which consist of Ashley Semlanko, Bodhi, Cassandra, Connor Thornell, Illy Bueno, Foster Bradley, I Love the Second Amendment, James Baker, John D, Jorge Anido, Madeline Tanner, Margot C, Nico, Santino Sierra, Shawnee, Solar9, Spooky Dosette, Vegan Beast, and Wayne Keir. I also want to thank my legend tier patrons. Thanks to Andrea906, Austin, Baby Lion, Brian Cave, Brianna Schaff, 
Evie Meyer, Jacob, MG, Mika Lennon, and Nee Castle. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.